I'm Ashley and I am 30 years old and I ha I'm married to Nathan and we're about to have our first baby in about three weeks. So that is very exciting and it's definitely a new season of life for us. I've been working at New Life now for six years and um, I have been the worship pastor for the last uh, year or so. So I've had the opportunity to not only um, pastor a whole team of people but also lead worship and build our culture as a community here in New Life. Encouragement I think is a number of things. Uh, for me it's the act of being able to like identify and see in somebody um, a gifting or a potential that they yet can't see for themselves and so being able to paint a picture of a future um, that they're yet to, to enter into and then be able to watch them walk out that, that calling. So that's a bit of a long term um, hope for like encouragement I think is yeah is to paint a picture of something that somebody can't yet see about themselves in a really positive light. I think the other um, gift of like encouragement is actually to comfort people, to actually uh, give hope and to give support and to give comfort when somebody's walking through something and they feel alone and isolated. So that, that's really another way that we're able to like, encourage. I see like encouragement as a chain breaker, um, a perspective shifter, a confidence builder and a vision caster of a future that we're yet unable to, to maybe see for ourselves. My favorite scripture around this gift of um, yeah, like encouragement is Hebrews 10 verse 23 to 25 and it says let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works not neglecting to meet together as is in the habit of some like but like encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near you see um this life is not easy from the moment we we're born up until our like our last day um there are mountains and valleys and, and, and there are absolutely going to be things that, that we're, we're going to walk through. And so I think uh, God has given us this gift of the church, of his community to actually edify and to build up one another. And I think in some ways it's so countercultural to, to the society that, that we live in at the moment where we find that it's much easier to tear one another down instead of build one another up. One of the, the ways that I like to see like encouragement used is, is that when someone is winning, when someone is doing something well for the kingdom, then we all win. We're all on the, the same team, fighting for the same win that people might come to know the, the hope that we have in Christ. And so when I actually um, see someone doing something well, I want to actually celebrate and honor that. And, and see that as an opportunity that we get to build up the kingdom of God. God has given us community, the church, to actually build up one another. In 1 Thessalonians 5, it says, We build one another up that the kingdom of God may be built and ultimately that people may come to know the love of God. And so ultimately, I think that's why like, encouragement is so important. In scripture, we actually see opportunities that God uses to actually stir and, and spur on and draw out like the very best of his people through like encouragement. In Joshua 1, 9, it says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord is with you wherever you go. In Romans 15, verse 5, it also says, May the God who gives encouragement give you the same attitude and mind toward one another. And in that, that same way, as God chooses to uplift his people, to, to spur them on, I think we too are called to be more like him, more like Jesus, as, as we, we rally around one another instead of that culturally known tearing down, we're actually seeking to build one another up that we might see others around us reach their calling and their potential and actually make sure that nobody has to walk alone in this life. I think, like anything, um, the the best way to learn something new like is to, to simply start doing it. We have no shortage of people around us that need words of life, that need a sense of like uplifting, like encouragement. And so 
with our school circles and our friendship groups and, and, and like our friends at youth, I tell you what, there are so many people around you um, that might just need that word at that moment when they're at their lowest. And I think um, that can look like so many different things and, and it can be sometimes really scary to, to actually step out and do that, but it might be something as small as a word of like, hey, I know that, that you're you're walking through something, hey, I'm like I'm here for you, I'm praying for you. Whatever it might be, it might be like a chocolate from the canteen or or it might be a handwritten note to actually um, speak some words of life in a situation. Um, it's all a matter of starting. You have to start somewhere. And, and so I think as we start to be faithful in those small ways, God can also trust us with with greater words of like encouragement as well. And, and, um, and it can be something that the way we're really good at and be a source where we're actually raising up a generation, raising up our peers, being a safe place for people, being somebody that is like authentic and is actually like a woman of a word. Um, these are characters and qualities in people um, that not only draw others, but it, like it's also an amazing um, characteristic of leadership and an amazing characteristic of a woman.